everyone and welcome to today's video on how to make your own homemade sugar scrubs. Okay, so making your own sugar scrubs is actually very simple. What I'm going to do is run through the three basic ingredients that you need to create a simple uh, sugar scrub and you need to apply them a, in a two to one ratio. So the first and most important component is your exfoliating component. It does all the hard work of removing the dead skin cell buildup, and it's softer than salt. So you could still replace this these ingredients with salt, um, but sugar, as opposed to salt, offers four levels of abrasiveness and additional moisturizing benefits to the skin. The second main ingredient for your sugar scrubs are your, is your carrier oil. Your carrier oil is what allows you to apply your exfoliant or in in this case your sugar um, as well as supplying fatty acids to the skin and by applying your oil to the skin you're keeping your skin supple and smooth now there are many sources of carrier oils you, you've got things such as olive oil jojoba oil almond oil grapeseed oil you name it it's probably out there and it's down to individual preference as well as benefits of that particular oil. If you do read my book, there all of this is covered. However, feel free to explore. It's completely up to you what type of carrier oil you use. Um, at the end of the day, a lot of it is personal preference. However, there are uh, therapeutic benefits that certain carrier oils have that make it better uh, for you than others. And the third key ingredient for your homemade sugar scrubs is essential oils, which not only gives you a desired fragrance, but it can also improve your mood. If you don't want to use essential oils, you can use fragrance oils. The options are endless and down to personal preference and skin requirements. Once again, I do go through a lot of these essential oils and their therapeutic benefits in my book. However, it is up to you. Um, feel free to, to play with different fragrances and different essential oils um, and to get the desired benefit from your essential oils. You probably want to use at least one teaspoon of of your essential oils to give you the required effect and one teaspoon is probably about five to ten drops per uh, batch of sugar scrub. Okay so apart from your ingredients you'll need a glass bowl, a wooden spoon and an airtight container. The classic recipe is two parts sugar to one part carrier oil not to be confused with your essential oils. So just ignoring your essential oils, the classic recipe is two parts sugar to one part oil. So that's two tablespoons of sugar to every one tablespoon of oil. Okay, so now you wanna mix the sugar with the carrier oil in a glass bowl with a wooden spoon to prevent any external reactions. Now you wanna stir slowly until you s achieve a smooth consistency. Now a consistency that you like rather than just sticking to the the actual recipe if it doesn't look right and it's too oily or not oily enough for you then make sure that you get it to the consistency that you want. You then want to add the essential oils and mix again. Now don't put too much essential oils in. You want to stick to the recipe there. So add the essential oils, mix again and when you can create a slightly wet ball without the mixture falling apart then you know it's the right consistency. You transfer it into an airtight container, store it in a cool place and get ready to pamper yourself whenever you desire. Okay now if you found this interesting and you wish to learn more about how to make your own sugar scrubs and skincare products just visit the website that's on the page here on sugarscrubhomespa.com or click on the link below the video and um, opt in and you'll be gaining a whole heap of free tips, hints and how to's on making your own skincare. Until next time, bye for now.